I was a proper tomboy at school, so I was probably a boy, to be honest. Something about boy. No, I was I was ginger, so I'm still ginger now, but it was mainly probably ginge. Proudest moment would probably be um, leading England under 19s up. That was a pretty, that was a big honour. Yeah. Proudest moment of the season so far. Probably the Arsenal game. Yeah, that was probably the proudest. I think it was just the way we worked as a team, and then we grind out the result. I don't think you could actually describe playing for your country. It's like one of those things where you walk out, you sing the national anthem, and it's like, right, this gets the job done. So it's, it's it's a mad feeling. I think having the armband as well, it's it's a bit surreal. Question. Oh, probably Kim Little. I think best player I've played with is Kim Little. Unreal. We just give her the ball and she did everything. But also Fran. Fran's quite mad. Um, I don't think my parents would like that. <laughs> um, no, sorry. Kill me, but Georgie probably. It's just old. It's, nothing is modern on that playlist. Nothing is modern. The Villa game was probably one of the best games because it was the way that we did actually fight to the last minute and well the last ten anyway to grind out that result and score. So that was probably one of the, one of the hardest games I've played in mentally as well. Was it, Mo? What was the school? <laughs> Shut up. I don't dwell on the past. I don't dwell on the past. <laughs> oh, that's a tough one. Oh, that's a good question. It's a good question, really good question. Um, to be honest, obviously, personally, I, I think the, the strikers get all the glory. So if they score, it's like, woo, congrats, you've scored. But then no one really sees what the back four does, and the keeper, Grace. Um, no one really sees what they do. So I think I'd stick to my position, because I'm. Yeah, it's my position, and I'm proud to play there. Oh, no, this is a bit of a stitch up. What do I eat for a game? That's a great question. <laughs> a great question. Um, do you know what, to be honest, I'm not the best of eating. So, if I eat anything before a game, it's picky things, like little snacks, like cereal bars. To be fair, I do eat a lot of chicken before a game. Um, bread. bread, malt loaf, just picky things, really silly things. I think if we'd have started a bit better, it would have been a different, completely different scenario. But at the moment, we are kind of relying on other results. So in that case, if we keep, if yeah, if we keep, if we keep going and playing the way we are, then I'm pretty sure that we'll be second. Just hoping that Sunderland do slip up. <laughs> Lee, and probably Lee, she's actually ridiculous. Don't even have her in a changing room. She'll start twerking against the wall or something. It's ridiculous. Yeah. She's gonna kill me, she's gonna kill me, but she's definitely the worst person to have in a changing room. And Jane, especially when she tries to slam a door and it doesn't actually slam properly, it just goes slow like that. This is a stitch up. <laughs> if I do use fake tan, because I don't use fake tan very often, but if it is, it's probably the Dove gradual one, you know, the moisturizer. It's good, you should give it a go. Who's that from? I've actually got one here for you, Ash. Can you see it? Come closer. There we go, I'll give it to you tomorrow. Yeah? My roomie is Grace, and she's the best roomie in the world because she has class music taste. 
She doesn't take that long in the shower. Decent food. And she's just the best person in the world and I love her. Oh, Mo.